can tell I'm pretty excited about today's video because the makeup turned out the way I wanted and the hair turned out even better than I expected. I'm getting ready for an event today. I am going to try and sneak in um, a little bit of my overall outfit and a, glim and a few glimpses from the event towards the end of this video so stay tuned for that. Um, but for now, let's just dive right into giving you the entire step-by-step -step process on how I got this makeup look which I'm personally really really happy with today. Let's get right into it. Okay, so to begin with, I'm using the Himalaya Herbals Nourishing Skin Cream to just go over and prep my face. I feel like this moisturizer does really, really well for my skin. If you have normal to dry skin, this should be a really good pick for you. It's light, it's super non-greasy, and it comes with aloe vera. Bonus points for the fact that, you know, in winter, you just really need to moisture up your face, and Himalaya is one of my go-to brands when it comes to moisturizer. For the primer, I picked out Smashbox's Photo Finish Foundation Primer. This is another really good oil-free primer. Uh, it goes really, really nice and smoothly and just evens out the canvas for the rest of the makeup to come in. To begin the makeup process, the foundation I picked was the Smashbox Studio Skin 15 Hour Hydrating Foundation. The shade I am in this is 3.0. I feel like this foundation is like a true, true match to my skin. Before I went into my concealer, I took a little bit of my water spray and just dampened out my beauty blender. I usually give this about 15 seconds-ish of um, dampening before I go in and blend my concealer with it. For the concealer today, I picked out my Holy Grail product, the Urban Decay Naked Concealer in the shade Medium. You guys know how much I like this concealer. It's one of those concealers that not just conceals but also brightens up the areas of the face that you use it on. If you are looking for a more affordable dupe for this, you can check out the Maybelline uh, instant age rewind concealer that's also a really really nice concealer then with the help of the beauty blender that you guys just saw me sort of dampening I blend in all the areas where I applied the concealer which is usually my under eyes my upper lip my chin area and the bridge of my nose Now, just before I go into my eye makeup, I wanted to do something to set my under eyes and my laugh lines in and I used the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. This product has fast become my favourite. It's in the shade medium and it is working really, really well with making sure that my under eyes are not creasing up. The lines are not appearing as much as they used to. In fact, they're barely appearing at all, to be honest. I always overload a little extra on my under eyes and I also throw in a little extra on my lid and around my laugh lines and then just before I go into doing my makeup I take like a regular big brush and sort of uh, throw away the excess powder that was left on the under eyes. I went ahead and did my brows with the brow pencil from the Lakme and Karina Kapoor collection. This is a really nice product. It's in the shade Espresso. I know that you guys have seen me using this a few times. It is definitely in my list of top five brow products right now. It's really good and uh, the spoolie end of it works really, really well too. Beginning with the eye makeup, I'm actually giving my eyeshadow a base today. I'm using Nykaa's Glamorize pencil in the shade Violet Wizard 06. I'm gonna be honest, I don't think this was the best thing to do because it dries up really quickly. It's a no smudge product. So if you want to sort of blend anything with it, maybe just use this as is and blend really quickly. I forgot about that aspect and uh, I had to use a little extra purple. Of course, I am happy with how the overall look turned out. So I'm not complaining, but I'm just giving you guys a heads up. To begin with the eyeshadow use, I took a really beautiful purple shade and went into the inner half of my eye. I did definitely overlap this a little bit with the Nykaa pencil to give it that ease of blending as much as I could. Once I was done with packing this product on, I went ahead and took a deeper purple violet shade from the same palette. The palette I'm using, by the way, is the Morphe 35B palette. It is one of my favorite colorful palettes. Uh, I took this purple shade and went into the outer half of my lid and this really gave my eye a lot of dimension. If you guys know about the James Charles and Morphe collab palette, I have to tell you that a lot of the shades are really similar from this. Of course, a lot of the shades have been built in on with their pigmentation with that palette from what I've seen online. But the 35B palette stands as one of my super, super favorite ones because it covers so many colors. Once I was done with this, I took the lilac shade from the same palette and went into the middle of my eye. This was just to sort of help blend the two purples really well together, the two violets really well together on my eyelid. I feel like it definitely helped. Then to add a little more dimension to the outer corners of my eyes, I used Hematite from the Kylie palette, the OG bronze eyeshadow palette and uh, went into the absolute 
absolute outer V of my eyes. Blend, blend, blend because you know that's really, really important to make sure your look sits right, feels right. Also, don't be afraid to go into your crease a little bit with this last dark shade. I did that with hematite for sure. Then for the inner corners of my eyes, I took gold stone from the Kylie palette and I spritzed it with a little bit of the Revolution Pro Fix setting spray. This basically makes your eyeshadow a little more pigmented and I went over and covered the inner corners of my eye. I kind of really like doing this with almost all of my makeup looks. I feel like it's become a signature move and uh, it just really helps tie the entire look together. For the last step of the eyeshadow and just to tie the entire look together, I picked up the same brush that had the darker purple on it and I went on to my uh, lower lash line. This just ties the whole look together and does a really good job of making it look like a little bit more pro. With all of the color ready on my eyes, I just wanted to complete the look by giving my brow bone a little bit of a matte highlight. I took topaz and citrine just a little bit and gently rummaged my brush over my brow bone area to give it a slightly matte highlight till we add a little glam to it later. Then with the help of the Kat Von D ink liner, which is one of my current favorites right now, I gave myself a little winged tip. And I went on to add Soulmate from Glomia Beauty's set of lashes, which are beautiful, glam and so fanned out. With the help of Nykaa's 24 Vinyl Luxe, which is a really beautiful liquid liner that comes with a long brush, I concealed the areas where the glue was showing or the band was showing and my eye look was ready to go. I wish I could have been able to do kajal but to be honest off late whenever I've done kajal it is sort of leaving a mark on my lenses. So I skipped that step out but that's totally your call if you want to add some kajal in it too. Before we go into the face makeup I just wanted to prep my lips a little bit because they were feeling chapped and dry. I used the strawberry shine lip care from Himalaya which works wonderfully for my skin. Then going on to the face makeup with the help of the Moira Cosmetics highlight and contour powder palette. I used the medium browns and dark brown tones to go over and chisel up my face of course. I use it in both areas of my face, my cheekbones as well as my jawline and I feel like this product does a really good job because it doesn't over sculpt it, it's really nice and sheer but super buildable so unless you want that very stark contour you can just layer up if you want that, if not you can leave it somewhere in the middle like I do also. For my blush, I use the Nykaa Get Cheeky Blush Duo. Both the shades I have in this are what I used on my face. The Brazilian Bombshell 01 as well as Rose and Raisin. I feel like this is becoming one of my go-to blushes mainly because it has this beautiful pink but slightly earthy finish to it and it works super well on Indian skin tones. For the highlighter, I use the Nykaa Glow Get A Highlighter Duo. This comes in two shades and I mix them both when I applied them on my face. It has the 24K Glam as well as the Warm Gold and Pure Gold shades. I mix them both up and use them on the high points of my face, on my cheeks, on my upper lip, even on my brow bone just to go over and give it that little smoothened out glam look just below my eyebrows and of course on the bridge of my nose and my cupid's bow. For my lipstick, I use the long lasting liquid lipstick from The Balm in the shade Charming. This is a really nice matte shade. It is not brown, it's not rosy pink. It's a really nice somewhere in between mauveish brownish shade which I think is really really pretty. Because I'm going out for an evening event that I'm getting ready for today, Day. Uh, I've sort of overlined my upper lips just a little bit that's something I've been experimenting with off late and then to set it all together I use the same revolution pro fix illuminating fixing spray which is doing a really good job and I fanned it out with the help of this fan I rediscovered in my wardrobe and made the setting spray set down even faster for the finishing touch I used the smashbox super fan fanned out mascara on my upper lashes where it was basically blending in my natural lashes with my false lashes as well as on my lower lashes to complete that entire beautiful lash kind of look and there you go my look was ready i really hope you guys enjoyed today's video i've had so much fun filming it i think i'm going to do many more get ready with me uh videos for you guys a huge shout out to alina for making sure my hair looks sick i absolutely love it she's also my date for the night she's coming along to the event with me um i really hope that before we go into showing you the outfit you guys have hit the subscribe button have hit that bell button like share comment down below on what you think about this entire look um and yeah tell me what else you guys want to see because i'm always making note of your requests and sort of uh, planning my content calendar accordingly um i hope to see you in the next one with more sick makeup and hair looks i love you so much see you in the next one Mwah. bye <laughs>
My top, if you guys have seen my Bangkok haul, you know where it's from. Well, it's from Bangkok, basically. Um, I also picked up this Bershka bag that I'm wearing for the first time today from Bangkok. My watch is Bulgari and uh, yeah, my makeup and hair details you already have. The hair as well as uh, makeup is holding on really nice. You're coming with me in the elevator now. Um, the hair is holding up really, really nice. So really kudos to Elena. If it stays till tomorrow really nicely, uh, I'll probably film another video with this hairdo. And uh, she's asked me, Elena has asked me to sleep in a plait if I want to keep it for a little longer, which is great. Um, under eye shadow is real. The dark circles are covered. The concealer is doing a great job. The loose powder is fabulous and um, yeah all in all i'm pretty happy with how the look turned out i'm almost home now there you go i hope you guys have seen the house tour because you won't be getting one at this time it blacked out because i got into the house and the lights were off anyway um so that's all for now that's all for tonight this is the final look the highlight is still beaming which i'm so happy about and if you guys want to see more get ready with me's let me know before i go i'm going to give you a quick glimpse of the outfit again in better light okay here's another glimpse of the outfit in normal light uh office is messy let's all ignore that please and uh yeah here's the makeup look personally pretty happy with it i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did you guys know exactly what to do all those lovely magical things like hitting the like button sharing this video with a friend and hopefully you are already a subscriber if you're not a subscriber please subscribe um yeah i will see you guys in the next one i love you Mwah.